Regulars to this channel might already know that I live in Bavaria. Or do I? Well, that depends on who you talk to, because Bavaria can mean different things to different people. If you want the short answer, then I live in the free state of Bavaria, but I do not live in the Bavarian part of Bavaria. The long answer is most of the rest of this video. Most of you know Bavaria as the largest of Germany's 16 states. I live in the northwest corner, actually not very far from Frankfurt, while its southeast corner is at Berchtesgaden in the Alps. And while most German states were created after the Second World War, Bavaria as we know it today is only slightly changed from what it was in 1816. I say slightly changed, but actually between 1816 and 1946, Bavaria controlled an area known as the Lower Palatinate, or more usually simply the Palatinate, which is now part of the modern state of Rhineland Palatinate. But ignoring the Palatinate, and I'm sorry about that, but you know, I'll make it up to you at a future date, there have only been minor changes to Bavaria's borders in the last 200 years. The history of Bavaria can be traced back to the 6th century, when Garibald I was made Duke of the Bavaria and controlled some of the Alps and their foothills, roughly corresponding to what is now southern Bavaria and parts of Austria. As was the norm back in the day, battles were fought and aristocrats married each other, and so borders were constantly changing. At one point, the Duke of Bavaria controlled land as far south as Verona in modern-day Italy. By the 19th century, Bavaria had grown quite far north and had even reached Bamberg. Now, the exact history of Bavaria's growth from modest duchy to full-sized kingdom is way too long and complicated for this video, but the important point is that its borders were changing all the time. And so now we have modern Bavaria, which calls itself the Free State of Bavaria. And parts of it have been Bavarian for longer than other parts. Now, at the beginning of the video, I said that I do not live in the Bavarian part of Bavaria. So, what counts as the real Bavaria? Well, modern Bavaria is divided into seven administrative regions. I live in Lower Franconia, but we also have a Middle Franconia and an Upper Franconia. We also have a Swabia, although actually only half of it, the other half is in Baden-Württemberg. And then we have the Upper Palatinate, Lower Bavaria and Upper Bavaria. Those last three are what most people have in mind when they talk about Old Bavaria, which of course is the real Bavaria. But these are nice, neat, modern administrative divisions. Old Bavaria in the modern sense only roughly corresponds to what was the electorate of Bavaria towards the end of the 18th century, marked on this map in the darkest blue-grey. To us it seems very weird to see such messy borders, but that's how things were in those days. So, does any of this really matter? Well, I think it shouldn't, but to some people it matters a great deal. For example, the current Minister-President of Bavaria is Markus Söder, who is from Nuremberg, which makes him a Franconian, and that has actually caused some friction. See, for a long time Franconians have felt sidelined by the government in Munich, and so we're very pleased to see a Franconian Minister-President. But in Munich, Zerda was regarded as not a real Bavarian, and so had to show that he was committed to Bavaria, which then disappointed the Franconians. I myself have been very harshly criticised in the past for saying that I live in Bavaria instead of Franconia, because no self-respecting Franconian would ever admit to being Bavarian. Except that sometimes they do, especially in these parts that never used to be Franconian. In fact, when this administrative region was first created, it was originally called Lower Franconia and Aschaffenburg. And I live in the and Aschaffenburg part. And so around here you'll see a lot of Bavarian flags being flown. To the people here, the single most important thing is that they are not Hessian. We are definitely not in Hess. This is Bavarian Lower Mine, and don't you forget it. Thank you for watching, and if you'd like to watch a different video, try the one that I've linked to down there.